my name is Claudia Franchetti. I'm the Projects Officer for the South America East Territory. I've been working in this position for 10 years. We are really trying to connect all our community programs with an integrated mission approach. That is to say that the main focus are on the communities and not corpse-based programs. The idea is that people, staff, officers, soldiers, uh, they have to go out and be with the people where they are instead of waiting them to come inside. So I can see that's one of the main focus as a territory we have. Well, we're really encouraging to have more community projects, especially in Paraguay. There are really poor communities with a lot of young people and children, and we, are really, has, we really have a focus on them. And in Argentina, we are doing some outreach ministries in shanty towns, and, uh, which is proving a really uh, very interesting for us, very challenging for our young people too. We can say that we have medical, we have a medical clinic in Paraguay which is really a very good one and because they do a lot of prevention work, not just pri uh, primary health but prevention out in the community and we also have a lot of educational programs like uh, after school program to support the kids where, with their school performance so they can pass a year and keep on studying at school. The green space, Evangelina, is trying to come together, put together recreation, sports and drug prevention, which is uh, the, the most difficult topic for that area. And we have children between seven years old up to 13 or 14. And that's the age where they start consuming drugs. So we are, we are doing a prevention work and we have also some addicts part of the, the program and we are trying to support them. We have, uh, we have doing a lot of recreational and sports for the kids so they can have a good time with us having fun and also doing arts and crafts or educational workshops too. Nueva Chicago is the meat district in Buenos Aires. Almost all the meat for the city is provided or distributed from here. And uh, the Hyden City is a shanty town inside, so the Salvation Army is trying to, to go there, to their community, and to have uh, a presence there, to be with the kids, and to have Sunday school with them. And we also run a feeding program for malnourished children in that area, and with high cholesterol and high blood pressure kids. So it's very specific feeding program running there. South America East Territory has also quite a lot of men and women shelters. It's part of its history because we are countries where a lot of immigrants came in from Europe especially and so that's a historic program to provide shelter to people who don't have any anywhere else where to sleep or to have, a, uh, to have food. The thrift store program is uh, one of our distinctions as a territory. It's really going very well, it's growing. And what they collect and their income goes to, uh, to THQ to support different ministries. The running cost of different programs, social programs. We want to change from institutional to more community-based program, but we also need to because the cost for institutional programs are constantly raising up. We want to say thank you to the Canada and Bermuda Territory for their interest in us, and we look forward to the partnership that is beginning and will grow in the future. <laughs>